We're here on Ruthwell Gardens to have a look at this three bedroom mid townhouse, which comes with a tiered rear garden. As you can see, there's a gate leading to a set of steps and a pathway to the front entrance door. There is a front garden which has previously provided hard standing, although not classing it as a driveway. You've got a curse light to the entrance door and then a paper glazed panel door leads into the entrance hall. You have laminate flooring running through the space and then to the back of the house is an opaque glazed panel door leading to the garden. You've got stairs to the first floor. You then have a storage cupboard housing the meters and then a door into the lounge. The lounge has the lamp for running through from the hall. Nice room this, partial dado rail to the walls, burning um, pebble effect, electric fire set to the feature wall with some wall lights and then you've got a window to the front elevation as well. As we extend along the hallway, you can see there's another stairs storage area and then to the right here, a door leads to a further storage cupboard and adjacent to that, a further door leads to a ground floor WC, where there's a WC wash basin, there's tiled splashbacks, tiled flooring and an eye level opaque lace window to the rear. The final room to the ground floor is the kitchen, which is a uh, good sized dining kitchen space, as you can see. Space for a really good sized dining table. We've got uh, tile finished flooring running throughout. There's beach finished panelled units and work surfaces with a stainless steel sink and drain with a mixed tap set beneath a window overlooking the garden. You've got provision and plumbing for both a washing machine and dishwasher. And there's space for a gas cooker and space for a stack fridge freezer. As you can see, there's appliances already in situ. Um, got tile splashbacks, we've got a canopy extractor and we've also got a cupboard housing the boiler as well. Let's kind of have a look outside. As previously mentioned, there's a tiered rig garden. We've got artificial grass to most garden areas. You come out to an initial area, which has been used as a play space. And then there's steps leading to the main garden area, which has artificial lawn. And then a step to a small patio, which takes advantage of the sunlight, as you can see. There's also storage here and pedestrian access gate to the rear as well. Can have a look up so the first floor we have a landing with a balustrade return with a radiator fitted and then you've got doors to all three bedrooms and two storage cupboards as well as the bathroom bedroom one is to the front elevation double bedroom with a range of fitted wardrobes set to the right hand elevation with sliding doors two of which are mirrored and then there's a window overlooking ruth wall gardens bedroom two is to the rear elevation Again, further double bedroom, this having a window overlooking the rear garden. And then there's also a built-in wardrobe with hanging rail. Finally, bedroom three is a larger than average third bedroom for this property type. You've also then also got a Overstairs storage cupboard rising a wardrobe with a window to the front as well. Let's have a look at the other doors on the landing. You've got a door here leading to the X airing cupboard, which now provides shelving. And then you have the airing cupboard here with hot water tank as well. White suite to the bathroom with panel bath. There's an electric shower. We've got a pedestal wash basin WC, full height tiling with mosaic border to the bath area, which is half height to other elevations. We've got mosaic tile finished vinyl flooring, opaque glazed window to the rear, an extractor and a tile radiator, radiator as well. So all in all, you know, it's doubly gla double glazed and gas centrally heated. Um, it's got three good sized bedrooms and is perfect for a number of markets.